Hey guys, this is the Physics 2 public lecture upload. For my public lecture, I went to Bill Yaus's lecture about science and food. Bill Yaus is the former White House executive pastry chef, so he had a lot of interesting things to say about food. I went to the lecture because I never really thought about science and food as being in the same world, so going to a whole lecture about it was pretty interesting. I've got my notebook, so let's get started. The first thing he talked about was chocolate. Uh, first going through the whole process about how chocolate goes from beans and so on and so forth until it becomes chocolate liqueur and chocolate butter. The interesting thing you, he talked about during the chocolate part was how to make perfect chocolate. What you do is you take chocolate, you heat it up to a high temperature, 105 degrees cool it back down, heat it back up to 94 degrees, and then bring it back down to room temperature. You do this because you break the molecules when you heat it up, and every time you cool it back down and heat it up to a lower temperature, you're making different molecules. By the time you get to the last cycle, completely new molecule, perfect chocolate. The second thing he talked about was supercooling, which was interesting in the context of cooking. You take a liquid, you dip it in liquid nitrogen, pull it out. And it gets stuck in a meta state. That's right between where something is liquid and solid, which means it's liquid until it gets disturbed. Then it becomes a solid. The third piece he talked about was foams, edible foams. Uh, foams in general are a liquid that have been pumped almost completely full of air. They use all sorts of stuff, including food. Uh, traditionally, you use hand whipping to make foams. Now we use something called a sulfactinate. You put the sulfactinate in any liquid and it instantly makes foam. The fourth and final thing you talked about, really interesting stuff, was the gels. Now, for gel, you take your food and you combine it with sodium alginate. Then you take your bath, it's just water and calcium chloride take the food, you drop it in the bath, it instantly becomes solid, but only on the outside. On the inside, it's still liquid. Always wondered how they did that, and now I know. Really cool to see right up there, right in front. Right toward the end of the lecture, he mentioned something really interesting that I decided to research. It was aerogels. So I looked into aerogels, and actually aerogels, when they were first discovered, invented, they were thought to be more or less useless. They were way too brittle, and no real uses could be found for them. Now, they're one of the most researched materials out there. Why? Well, besides making them stronger, aerogels are extraordinarily light, being 99.8% air, so pretty much weightless. And they conduct almost zero heat as in they are 40 times better at not conducting heat than fiberglass. This kind of stuff, this gel, is the kind of thing we're going to see anywhere from our homes to reduce heating costs, all the way up to space shuttles, making them lighter and better. So, aerogels, very cool. Bill Yaus's lecture, also very interesting. Thank you for listening.